If you are using Schaefer RG services for creating aluminum front panels or other types of panels they offer, you may want to make cutouts for electronics. And if it turns out that you are using Eagle for your PCB designs, a PCB is a printed circuit board um, like uh, these. If you use Eagle for creating printed circuit boards, um, you have an XML format that gives us the possibility to read out all the coordinates for the holes and the components on your board. And we have made an online tool that makes it easy and foolproof, or at least avoids the human errors of entering coordinates when you want to design cutouts for a PCB like this. Okay, let's just take a look at, at um, these uh, PCBs because um, first of all you see we have mounting holes and then we also have um, positions for buttons. So let me just show you how that works. This is a button placed right there and uh, I could have one uh, placed here. Let's say I wanted such two buttons like that. So they have a location on the PCB as well. So um, to take this example, I will open uh, here a board file from Eagle. This is um, PCB is called BIA two times four. And when I open that with the uh, Eagle to front design kickoff script, you will see a graphical representation of the board that should match what you have just seen in the close up picture of this one. Plus you will see a list of all the components. What you need to do now is to decide which components you want to have a milling object for in the uh, eagle um, or in the uh, front panel. And uh, you don't want it for the resistors and all such stuff. But for instance, you want it for the ground pads. So for the ground pads, we have four of them. I would place a three millimeter stud. And this is really just to you know get you started. You have to adjust the parameters eventually. But I now place three millimeter studs for all the ground pads. Then I also know that I use two buttons. So I have a button here and a button over here. And uh, let me see what was the names uh, B5 in this case. And then this one would be B8. So uh, buttons B5 and B8. B5 plays a cutout. That would be a 10 by 10 millimeter cutout. And the buttons are bigger than that. But I'll get back to that. And I place a cutout for the BI8 button right there. So choosing this and uh, okay, so now I will also render board outlines. This is just to show off a little bit. I render and what you see here is copy paste this to the paste pattern front design. So I'm going to do that copy and I go to uh, front design, which I just start up here and uh, go to edit scripts, paste pad, copy paste. Sometimes you, yeah, okay, it's fine. Run. And then you see here a front panel with um, the, uh, the um, studs for mounting the board in those locations and the cutouts for the buttons. The point is you get all the coordinates right. You get the center location of the component in Eagle at the exact right spot when you take it into uh, Schaeffer's application here. So um, the, the outline here was one that I, I checked the checkbox to have the outline. This is just to you know, give me visually an idea about where the board is. So I would delete it now. And then for each of these cutouts, I need to know what are the true dimensions of my buttons. And they turn out to be square 16.3 millimeters. So I type in, or I could actually select both of them at the same time. I type in 16.3, 16.3, and there I have now my cutouts. I should also modify other parameters, like for instance, in this case, I would like to have a small, um, I would like to have a small corner radius of 0.5, so like that. And now this could be ready to paste uh, into a uh, copy over to another front panel where you have, um, um, wh which is a part of an, an enclosure, as an example. Uh, and you may have seen, and probably you have seen, a, a lot of the videos we have made about uh, Schaeffer housings. 
and how we can create many different types of housing using some scripts we have developed. And um, to demonstrate that, I think I will try to create a rec unit um, based on side profiles. Um, make it a rec unit, uh, side sections, let me see, I want it black. And um, we just make the front for now. Okay, so there you see now um, a script creating this uh, rec panel front. Oh, actually, I, now I just come to think about it. I would like to have guide engravings because this is the this is the moment of truth where it's really useful to see how um, if you add guide engravings for the uh, the housings, you have a very clear view of of where you can actually place your um, your components. So um, the guide engravings. They are engravings that you need to remove before you order the panel, but they will show you where underlying features of the panels are. For instance, there are these side profiles holding together the rack unit and also the, the top and uh, the bottom uh, sides, uh, top and bottom there. And we want to stay clear of that for our particular module. And that could be another reason why we wanted to keep the outline of the module if it wasn't for the fact because then we can also use that outline to see how it will fit in. But um, for, for this particular one I know it's absolutely rectangular so there is no issue with that. So I just um, copy and then I paste here and then you can see it's easy for me to place the module so that I know it stays clear of um, the top, bottom and the housing profile. So putting it like this should be absolutely safe. And you can go on like that. If you have other PCB modules, etc., you can use this. You can also select circular cutouts, but the main point is that you get the coordinate sets right and you may need to adjust a lot of things. In this case, we should actually also check that we have the right bolt type. It's a 20 millimeter bolt, it's M3, it's a stud, etc. And it turns out to work with this one, but you may need another type of bolt, shorter, longer, different thread, etc. So I hope you uh, will find this useful, in particular if you have um, used our scripts to create a housings at Schaeffer, you'll probably, and if you use Eagle as well for your electronics, you may find it useful to have this tool to generate some. Um, coordinates for your cutouts on those panels.